Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy, TM, an ENT consultant at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital, Ashwantpur and Srinivas ENT uh, Center at Ashwantpur. When we hear normally, uh, we generally don't even realize we are hearing because it is second nature to us. But when uh, minor uh, aberrations in hearing do occur, uh, like suddenly you start feeling blocked when you have a cold or um, you are going in a flight and suddenly you will start feeling your ears are filling up, then you know that something is happening. There is a tube which connects the nose with the ear which is called as the eustachian tube. This tube uh, main function is to equalize pressure across the eardrum. Uh, the eardrum is at the end of the canal from the outer ear and the eustachian tube is um, somewhat perpendicular to the middle ear from the ear to the nose. So if this is the external artery canal, similarly there will be an eustachian tube at the back of the nose from here to the ear like that. Somebody comes and tells us that they are hearing echoes in their ear. The first thing that we will be suspecting is any eustachian tube dysfunction. Now this eustachian tube can be uh, rendered dysfunctional for uh, um, minor uh, reversible causes like common cold, barotrauma that is um, trauma which has occurred secondary to pressure changes like when you go in a flight or when you have gone deep sea diving. Uh, you can have a dysfunction and then you can feel a blocked sensation and some sort of echoes in your ear secondary to fluid accumulation. But uh, an occasional teenager can uh, do come to us and say something is abnormal and uh, some echoes are being heard. So anything um, which happens here with respect to hearing uh, which we cannot correlate to a upper respiratory tract infection and eustachian tube dysfunction needs to be further evaluated with audiological evaluation that means the uh, hearing functions of the ear uh, and the middle ear pressure mechanism needs to be assessed with uh, tests so that we don't miss uh, certain conditions like um, what we call as a sudden sensory neural hearing loss uh, wherein uh, the inner ear functionality suddenly stops functioning because of uh, exposure to loud noise or uh, constant listening to loud music or um, smoking or uh, in elderly people because they are diabetic, hypertensive. Uh, blood flow just uh, decreases. So that is a one condition which we always need to keep um, as a differential diagnosis when we when somebody comes to us and says they are hearing echoes in their ear. Generally we should be able to differentiate fluid accumulation in the ear to a sensory neural hearing loss in the clinic itself but uh, an occasional patient may not be able to uh, give us the information that we require through communication and in such a patient we will uh, resort to investigation and then do accordingly.